Hello everyone and welcome to another hammer tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make a, um, well, quote unquote, custom NPC. It's really just um, using map entities to create what is perceived to be as a new NPC. But that's what I'm going to be showing you how to do in this video. And it's pretty simple to do, so let me just show you. So first off, you want to find a custom model which or make a custom model that your NPC will be um, using, right? So I'm just going to sort on the Gary's Model Workshop by models, and then I'll just search um, NPC, because it should be an NPC model, because I think there's two different types. There's player models and NPC models, so I'll try to find an NPC model. All right, so I have decided uh, just on this one here, because why not? Um, and the next thing you want to do is you want to download this. Uh, you don't need to subscribe to it. I'll leave a link in the description for this program I'm going to be using, which is called GM Publisher. And it's a really handy program, actually. Um, you can, of course, upload stuff onto the workshop with it. And um, if you go to the downloader here, if you just simply copy the page URL and paste it, it automatically downloads it for you. And you just open it, and it gives you all of the uh, models and the materials and everything. So now with this, the models and materials, you just copy it and paste it in your Gary's Mod folder. And now you just have the models and materials for that, the Super Soldier, in your Gary's Mod, right? So now we can go back to Hammer. And we're going to be using any sort of NPC as a base. So I usually do an NPC citizen. Recently I've heard he's like a monster generic. I've never tried this. I, I've never even seen what this is. But um, monster generic. Interesting. So I guess if you're making some sort of monster. But um, you can pick the model in here maybe there we go model and now we can search for super soldier it's not the super soldier what was it called the elite synth so sometimes you need to look back at the uh, model name because you might not know what it is like I didn't so elite synth right and oh, I spelled that wrong Whatever. there it is right there now you can apply, and now you have the model at least. And I'm not, I'm not I haven't used the monster generic before, so I'm not sure if this will just work on its own. But uh, traditionally, I would use a NPC citizen. And with a citizen, there's some caveats, as in you need to disable random head, you need to go to type change that to unique and then of course when you're using the citizen model when you so when you just put them down normally and make it an NPC citizen it will be like oh model male one whatever whatever right and instead of that because uh, I copied it from monster generic so it ch uh, saved the model that I put but you can just go to smart edit and then change this and so copy this from the model path and paste it in there and then now it'll work. Just like that. Okay, so now we have our two monster NPCs or whatever. I've never tried the monster generic, like I said, so we're gonna see how that turns out. Um, and in your level, since it's just using basic NPC AI, you need to have nodes everywhere and stuff so it can navigate your level properly. And if you have doors, you know, put the, no the nodes um, in the door and whatever so they can open them, or the hint nodes and all that stuff. Um, and last thing you want to do, so the monster, of course, will attack the player. You want to go to uh, AI relationship and turn smart ba edit back on. Then you want to do hate, uh, start active, yes. I, I just do that. Actually, I'll name this um, change 
relationship. And I'm pretty sure when this is enabled, it'll notify. Every time it's enabled, it'll notify the. Um, it'll notify. So for the subjects, as you can read here, it'll be the NPCs. So you can either name these. Uh, whatever you want, but I would do NPC citizen, but that'll affect every citizen, so whatever. And then you want to do uh, exclamation point player, which will affect every player in the map. In this, yeah, in the level. And um, you want to, since I didn't have it start enabled, I want to do logic. So a timer, and then I'm not sure if this does much of anything, but um, I would just do on timer, change relationship, apply relationship. So every second it's applying the relationship, and I'm pretty sure when the, the relationship is applied, it notifies the monsters where the player is so like if for example you just wanted the monster to always chase after the player then that'll work so let me just compile this real quick and see if it works all right so I, I have no idea where they are right now I don't know if they're even working They could just be chasing me down right now. I don't. I don't think I gave them weapons, but oh, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I did something wrong, obviously, with the citizen, because they're not working. Um... Oh, what the fuck? Yeah, this person isn't working either. You definitely not working. But you can see the model for the monster generic at least um, stayed. So let's see what the problem was here with at least my citizen here. The model is that model. Oh, I didn't change the type to unique. That would be the problem. And I didn't change random hit. Let's also give them a crowbar. And now let's try this again. All right. So I can't fit through there. I think they're stuck in the ground. They're not stuck in the ground. So this one's trying to attack me. <laughs> I think this model's broken. See, the guy hates me now, so he's gonna try to run. Um, if I have him start with a crowbar. Let's find another citizen. See, he'll try to attack me. Is that because the relationship is being applied at all? So if I equipped all the way over here. He should know where I'm at. At all times. I can hear him. Ah! See? Alright, so obviously I think these models are the problem here. Um, I also don't know about Monster Generic. So here's the model I use for break-in. Um, so, they should work. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna we're gonna test if this works. It, what I'm afraid of. He. Ah! Okay, that's what I was afraid of. I don't have the custom footsteps for him in this map because it's like a sounds uh, sound script. But um, he works. All right, he chases you. He's scary. And uh, I don't. I don't. I didn't give him a weapon animation. I think that's why he just keeps running at me. But um, another thing with NPCs is you can, um, if you edit their QC file, which is you know the uh, command file or how the model is compiled, um, you can add custom animations and sequences. And um, what are they called? Uh, whatever they're called, I don't remember. But you can override the default NPC animations so you can add custom running and walking animations but the thing about them is you need to blend them together because how source works is you pre um, 
you pre-make the distance the NPC runs in the animation, and then you blend all the animations together, and you get, um, the animation is in place, but the movement, he moves the distance you want him to move, like that, you see? How fast he moves? I had to move him far in Blender, in the animation, to get him to move that far, you know? So that's how you get that done, and I'm just gonna go to, oh shoot, um, I'm gonna go to break in, and I'm gonna show you the NPC in that map, just so you get another sense, because you can do a lot with these NPCs, let me tell you, um, from custom animations to parenting triggers and stuff to them and cameras and other stuff so what I did for the NPC in this map was I parented a trigger to him and um, basically whenever that trigger is triggered when you're, you're in that trigger it's basically like oh and whenever he sees you sound starts playing like this sound here um, I don't know if he's actually gonna come after me but if you're in the vicinity of the trigger then the camera that he has parented to him will enable and I also have a sequence parented to him so he'll teleport to that sequence the camera will enable I play a jump scare sound and then the sequence plays the jump scare animation so wherever you get jump scared he will be there because of this thing, and um, here, okay, whatever. Watch this. Actually, that was he. He jump scared the wrong way, but still, you get what I mean. Um, it's it's stuff like that. You can make some pretty dynamic NPCs with this. And actually, in my most recent map. Okay, so in this map. If the parkour bot would unlocked. shut his fucking mouth. Uh, <laughs> no, I. There's some security guards um, here is I that I used that I took from a workshop. I literally did exactly what I did in this video, and I, I, like I said, you can do some pretty cool stuff. Um, make them make sounds emit from them and stuff, and they'll just like chase after you and stuff, you know. See? Just like that. Same with those NPCs up there. Those are cus those are models that have been worked on. Oh, I actually black me so but um Ah shit, you know. And then I parented a camera to him and all that stuff. And um Just like that. So that is the basics of how to make a custom NPC, uh quote unquote custom NPC and hammer. Um, just like that, and you can get, I mean, like, you saw my examples there, you can get pretty, you know, pretty crazy with this kind of stuff, and I guess if you guys want me to make another tutorial on, you know, animation and, um, sequences and all that stuff for Hammer and Source, the Source Engine and everything, then I, I guess leave a comment, and that'll help you amplify your NPCs, but, um, yeah, I hope this video helped you, and um, yeah, I'll, I'll see you in another video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.